So we went and pulled the boat out of the lake this morning. As you can tell, if you look up in the sky, it's kind of cloudy and gray, and it's not cold. Uh, I say I shouldn't say that because by Georgia standards, some people might consider this to be cold, but it's in the 70s, and uh, I've been pretty comfortable. In fact, I'm running around in my shorts. I've got a little long sleeve shirt on because we was out riding the boat on the lake. By the way, the water's perfect. But uh, my thinking has been, last year I put the boat around back in that homemade barn shed. My thinking has been this year I put the Rambler back here. And with the boat right in here, I've still got lots of room to walk around it and work around it, which is important. But I wanted to see whether these shells were going to interfere with the motor, but actually the motor goes right under the shelves. Uh, I've still got a few inches between there and the wall. But the other benefit of having this here is up there, I have insulation that never got put in. And this boat makes an amazingly perfect set of scaffolding just for that purpose. I can uh, literally climb right up here, stand on the back of the boat and, and reach, almost reach what I need to reach to button these things up. See, what I did when I put this insulation up here is I put a strip all the way along Well, the some of the piece of insulation slid down in over the edge of the uh, building, which is good because that means the insulation got all the way down in there. But this piece missed being far enough down by about an inch. And I've got another roll of that stuff right there. So I can come back with another roll and put it up here. But then what I want to do is take these green pieces like it's leaned against the wall and cut me a little arm that goes across from right below where that is to over here and then slide some insulation up in that so that I've insulated the top of this also. And then there's a few little places like here on the end and along here and up on that end that need to be insulated. But uh, you know, once everything's insulated, then I can literally put in, I got a window air conditioner right down here I can put in or I could put a little kerosene heater and we could heat and cool this building so that if we're down here in the summer or the winter, this can be a comfortable workspace uh, to do cool stuff. So that's stuff I'm interested in. I'm also keeping an eye out for tools. Uh, uh, old um, Ch Chuck, Charles, what's his name? God lives over guy I went to the car show with got the 48 Ford pickup truck Dyer Charles Dyer offered me some um, hoses for um, the cutting torch and I've got cutting torches at home but I don't have the tanks and somebody had a set of tanks and a cart and a set of hoses and a set of gauges all for sale this morning in the paper and I called them before the sun come up well, I didn't call because they didn't have a phone number, but I sent them a message. I never heard back from them, so I'm guessing somebody else went and bought that. And I don't blame them. But, you know, collecting a few tools around here, like I got this welder. It ain't much of a welder, but it works good. And uh, I've got my old plasma cutter right here, which I hadn't set up yet. And if I had a set of torches, then I could get another set of those little Henrob torch things, which I like a lot. And uh, I can do a lot of metal bending and stuff if I need to. Now, I don't know what I'm setting this all up for because I don't really plan to build another car or anything, but I just kind of like, I like having the wherewithal to uh, cut and weld and grind and bend metal. And uh, I never know what I'm liable to get into with it. But uh, anyway, so there's that. Here's the boat inside. Honeybay's going to come out here in a while and vacuum it all up and clean it all up. And uh, I wanted to double check it for leaks. Uh, <clears throat> I kept noticing every morning I'd pump a little water out of it. I'm not sure if that's coming from the dew that falls on the boat and then collects back here when it uh, when it dries out or, or what. But, I, you know, one way to check that is just put some water in the boat and see if anything leaks out of it. So anyway, so with all that said, now that this motor is here, I went ahead and tucked this set of shelves up under there where they go. And then I'm going to extend these shelves out to here and extend these shelves out to this corner and then I'll have 
space to put a few more things over there. I mean, that's kind of in the plans, but I'm not going to do that today. I was going to work on a Rambler today, but we got started doing this instead. I, I still can work on the Rambler, which leads me to the other thing. It'd be nice to be able to pull this boat out of here without tying up the little car over there. And one of the things that is a little problematic when you're messing around with a uh, a John Deere lawnmower is to, if you want to try to hook that to a trailer with a trailer ball the the trailer hitch is gonna get in the way of your gas tank before you get to any place where you can hook a trailer ball I might have already talked to y'all through this once I don't know I talked Trish to it but see the trailer hitch area where you could put a trailer ball would be down under there which is kind of under the gas tank which is not good but this piece here is a piece of an old uh, this thing had a uh, 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 a, a mulcher leaf gathering grass catcher thing and this piece goes up in here and it hooks to a couple of bolts up in there and then these two little pins go so once this is on here this piece is mounted up in this area above the gas tank which makes it an ideal location to put a trailer ball on so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to make me a, a trailer ball hitch to fit on this and then put this up in here i might can slip that in place while y'all watch if i had both hands free see this piece comes up under here you know, i have to take the pins out but you get the idea so that's one of the things I thought I might do is make me a little trailer ball hitch. Uh, and once it's mounted, it'll be up here higher than being down there, which would make it easier to get that trailer on. And then I can hook the trailer to this. I wouldn't want to go running down in the valley with it because I got a feeling the boat's a lot heavier than this thing. But, you know, just for moving it around the driveway, that'd be fine. So that's kind of one of the things I'm looking at today. So I got... One of the things I keep finding here is I never run out of things to do. There's always something like that load of firewood right there. I wanted to take that to Bobby. Or I wanted him to come get it. And since he ain't come get it, that's on my list too. Take that over to him so I can get up under my deck. Because I think I left some stuff up under there that I might need. You never know. Ho oh, the joy. Life is good here. I'm having a good time. I'm enjoying myself. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. See, I got some room back here that's being pretty poorly utilized too, which could be organized and be better than it is. Like I got a big old weed whacker right there that runs, but I'm probably never gonna use it. And I could put it somewhere outside of the way. There's some stuff up there. It's gonna go to Todd's house. It's gonna he does a Corvette radiator up there I'm giving him and that's going to come down from up there I might put some other stuff up there we get beside ourselves here if we start getting too far ahead so we'll leave that go I'll walk up here and we'll talk more look more and think more about what comes next okay okay Again for this here big bass, Rusty. It's coming in right handy for me. Yes, it is. Oh, I appreciate it.
They're out there pretty dang ugly, but it ain't going nowhere. And one of the reasons why I built this nice strong table is so I can do stuff like this. Put a little bit piece of metal and just hammer on it. So I got enough table to handle the hammer. I could actually hang my hammer right there too. Some of y'all might not be able to see that because you're not because you're in the sunlight, but oh well. I'll give you up close up as soon as I get through welding. <laughs> Eventually, I think all my welding stuff is going to come over here. Uh, I could spend the whole day dismembering this air compressor. It'd be kind of cool if I get it to run again. Uh, I wish I had took better care of it when I first got it, but I didn't really have a place to keep it indoors then, and I let water get in it and got stuck. But it would be a good one if I could get it running again. Uh, that's another project for another another day i reckon <clears throat> i need a place to hang up my helmet too where i can keep it out of trouble maybe i need to put a screw right up in here or something maybe i ain't big enough screw i need a bigger one there she is something kept biting me I finally took my shirt off I had an ant in my shirt how'd he get in there dang I don't like that not even a little bit dang hmm. there you go yeah, I'm gonna put me some tea tree oil on that take the sting out of it I think I'm gonna do my big screw before I lost my mind Hmm. Or, so this isn't terribly, you know, welded all the pieces in back. I don't think it needs to be. I think for what I want to do with it, it's plenty enough. Uh, that'll get me around the house. I'll, I'll run grab that lawnmower and we'll uh, throw that on there to see what she looks like. It's kind of funny. I have been trying to give away this uh, bagger thing for like a year. Nobody ever wanted it. I'm so glad they didn't now because. Now, I might not have even remembered I had this part on there. I remember when I took this off a long time ago thinking, oh, what was that for? And then kind of figuring it out. But the way I think this works is that this, these little notches go up to this bolt. This thing comes down and these things, I believe you stick them up in here like, like this because you can't get your you can't get your finger up in there to to put uh, those pins in. So I think these better if I set y'all down because my hand's probably wobbling all over the place. But it seems like that <clears throat> would go right about there, right about there. I saw it go by there once. You have to feel it. Had a feel for it. 
There it is. See that little pin piece there? So, in the other one, do the same thing on the other side. So, this should go up in here and come up underneath that. Might be something I have to tap up into place with a hammer. It looks like this would go right there. Maybe if I got me a hammer, I could tap that into place easily, more easily. That's a spot right there. So I need to come in from the back side to that spot. Right there. Yeah, see that? And here's my pen and here's my washer. Put my washer right there. Hold on to this pin here, see? Same way. One of the things I can already see is that my angle is going to be wrong, but I might be able to adjust that without taking it off some more. Let's try. I'll keep up. Uh, I keep on going with trying to get this thing to mount. Looks like it could mount a couple of different ways. In fact, it could have a piece up under here, and that would make it about right. Let's get this. Let's get this little side mount in here. I probably ought to bring a light here. I bet y'all can't see nothing there. Let's try. Getting the light. Okay. Always helps when you can see a little better. So now that I got that light, I can see my pen needs to be down here. A little bit more. There you go. So that's the spot. Now what I need to do is just come inside of the fender, reach up in here, and put it back in that spot. Like, and like, yeah, see it? Right there. And from there, I should be able to get my little nut onto here. And then get my little thingy on here. Okay. Now. So. Wouldn't it be funny if I put this on here upside down. I could have, you know. But. I don't know. Let's see. I could still put something under here down to there for that to catch on. I'm going to need to figure out what I'm going to put under there to hold that up to here. Shouldn't be too hard, should it? Nah, shouldn't be too hard. Actually, let me think. I'm thinking a little piece of uh, 
radius rod might work. Radius rod? That's the right thing. Not radius rod, but a rebar. A little piece of rebar. Hmm. Hmm. I have them, this kind of on here upside down or something, but what I'm thinking is it doesn't matter because if I was to weld a little piece of metal here on the side of this, it came up to the back side of that, it still worked just like that. Uh, the biggest trick to that would be just to find the right size piece of metal and the right way to get it on there because I can't weld it where it sits because this literally is the gas tank. I can't have no hot metal on that, but, but I could, I could weld a little ear on each side of that to go in behind that bolt. That would do, that would do the trick right there. Sure would. Uh, so let me think about how to construct that. I'll get back to Actually, as soon as I said that, I saw this piece. This is a piece that I cut off of a piece of bar like this the other day. And if I took a, a little piece of that, stuck this up here, put a little piece of that right here in the front of it, where it would go back in behind that and hold that. That would do the trick right there. Right, right there would do the trick. Put a little piece on both sides like that. Mm -hmm. That'll do it. Just a matter of getting the weld in the right place and not blowing up the lawnmower in the process. Just those little things you have to watch out for, you know. So maybe I can hold it in place enough to get a mark on it. And then do something like that. And get a clamp on it. I might be able to get a clamp on it. If I did like this, I might be able to put a clamp on that. That might that might do the trick too. I could split this piece into two halves. Put one on each side and put it like this. Yep. And then I could probably squeeze a clamp back in here and get on that. Let me cut this piece. I'm going to take a look at that. Hold it, Joy. <clears throat> well, I thought I had a really perfect, easy, breezy little trip. I wonder if I've got a little, I know at home I've got a little needle nose clamp. I don't even know if I've got one here. I may not. There you go. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I got this is smallest one I got, but it won't fit up in that slot. So I'm going to have to do some thinking about how to do this. So one thing I can do is hold it in place, squirt some paint on it, pull it back out and fit it into the paint spot. I've done worse of things than that.
Another option, if I didn't want to get into that at all, would be to put a bar like from here down to here. But I want I wanted to keep this open because I've got a, a little yard trailer that works on something like this where you drop a bolt down in there and I don't want to uh, I don't want to mess that up. I want to keep that bolt hole open. Well, I sure wish I could reach up in there and spot weld that without blowing up the gas tank and everything. But I know better. I know better. Don't do it just because it's easy. <laughs> it would not be hard to blow yourself up. It'd be pretty easy, actually. Just blow yourself up. Yeah. We can try flipping this over. It actually may be that I mounted it upside down and backwards. I've done worse things. Let's just push these out. But, I mean, ain't no way that I know of where that would make sense, see? That don't even go up in there. At least I can put these on from just the outside enough to, to, to see how to make them fit. I'm going to come up with something else. Okay, now here's what I have. This is, I don't even know where these two pieces of metal came from, but I, they were cut off of something. But this piece of metal will fit differently. Yes. This piece of metal will fit so that it sits right on this little shelf down here. And if it was welded right here, then when I go to slip this on, that would just automatically fall into that spot and that would automatically hold this up. So I can put a clamp here and then take this off and then work that and then put it back on. And I cut off this little edge thing that's in the way down here. Uh, also, I could also mount that inside and weld it like that. It would actually be a little cleaner if I did that. That would also still work, and it wouldn't be in the way of my other thing here. Kind of like that. Huh. Let me go get a clamp. We'll clamp that. We'll make one for the other side, and we'll clamp it if I got enough clampage. And then we'll weld it. Oh, joy! <clears throat> That looks pretty close, don't it? Let's put it on the mower. And I should go get some vice grips if I get it. I think I've got some soapstone in a box around here somewhere. Not too far from reach. Awesome. Oh shoot. I need a different kind of vice grip. I need a better vice grip. Something that has a sits up. Okay, by putting this on the outside, I was able to get a clamp on this. I may be able to take this loose and weld it here. 
I could bend this part down here a little more if I need to. And then after I've done that, I can come in from the other side and do the same thing over here. Uh, I can I could get both these on here at the same time. That'd be good. Then I could weld them both at the same time. Instead of having to put it on, take it back off. Let's see. Let's see if this pair of box strips will let me get under there. Oh, something's going bad here. What's the matter? You got some bad threads on you. That's not good. Oh, I'm have to work on my vice grips now. These ain't the best vice grips. I think I can make them be workable. If I can get them off and weld them and get them back on there like that. Let's try it. Touch fingers, hope for the best. Oh, that one fell off. That's okay. I'll go ahead and weld this other one if we can. Tempted to try going ahead and welding this on over here the same way, and then just expecting to have to hammer on it a little bit to make it work. But trying to get up under there with it and hold it and clamp it with these clamps that's really not working very well. This actually might have a better chance of success if I did it this way. So, let's just try it. So Worst I'm thing that can happen is I have to grind it off and do it over. I've done that before. I about it for More than once. Right, 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 right. <coughs> I thought my cold was getting a little better, but I still feel it. Do my best job of eyeballing it here. Let's see what happens.
to the M. <sighs> it needs to cool before I get anywhere near that gas tank with it. <clears throat> Dropped y'all. I think I might put a little bit more weld right over here. Well, yeah. Yeah, I think I will. I'm gonna walk away and let that cool down before I get anywhere near that motor with it. I do believe I could probably go ahead and snip off these two little high spots here and these two little points down here. Make it less likely to hurt anybody if they should touch it, you know what I mean? Uh, uh. this thing was just about run out of grinding wheel on that one Cool. All right, see how close we can get that to going back on there. Yeah. My glasses. I can't see without them. Here they are. I need something like wasn't right. I got down here and I couldn't. You know, to start being hay now. I'm just saying. Okay. This will go. Side in. Yeah. Both sides are in, and I can hammer this up a little bit. Before I do that, let's get the pins in it. Which is going to be popping these out and bringing them up through the inside. I might want to hit that with a hammer a little bit before I move it. Jolly was happy. He was running fast. He hit me daisy. He did? Yeah. You know, they love to race, don't they? Yeah. The little dachshunds. So yeah. I think they really love racing. I love you too. Uh-huh. Good boy, Charlie. Good boy. That's one way to get you exercise right there. Hmm. I wonder if I can get my hand up on that there. Reach that up into that. That way. <clears throat> down I'll try to maybe maybe I can there oh, we go that's got that one that's one so that's one side let's see if we can get that other side mm -hmm. ah. That's where the hitch was before. Yeah. How are you supposed to get anything on that? Right. <sighs> yeah. She's a coming along. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm thinking? Are you going to be like getting stuff in the boat when you're working up there? I mean, maybe it makes sense for me to try to <laughs> clean it out after you're done with that? Or? Yeah. <sighs> Yeah, that does make sense. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, that does make more sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. good thinking there. Mercy sakes! Great balls of fire! Come on, you can do this. There is where she goes. Look at that. Poof. Just like that. Just like that. Easy as pie. <laughs> okay. Put this on that. I 
take this on that. And that's how she rolls right there, folks. Like that. Hmm. Ah. <clears throat> I might be about ready to take a break from this day. I got hot and sweaty. I didn't intend to. I believe that'll work good. Right there. I guess I ought to show you me testing it out. See if it's strong enough. I think it's strong enough. Okay. Okay.